What's going on guys, Elio Trades back with another episode of FUD TV. Today we're gonna to be going over our five favorite dApps or dApps on the market today and why we love them so much. We'll get to all that and more starting now. A dApp has its backend code running on a peer-to-peer -peer network in contrast with an app that has its backend running on centralized servers. So when you're using dApps, the appearance will be almost the same as normal apps except for the backend of how they're run. The first dApp that we have to talk about is CryptoKitties. CryptoKitties was the first major hit dApp and it was released on the Ethereum blockchain last year. CryptoKitties was so popular that it single-handedly slowed down and clogged up Ethereum's blockchain. This drew tons of criticism and caused many industry experts and analysts to make the allegation that Ethereum wouldn't be able to scale. Thankfully, Ethereum has started to work out its scaling issues and CryptoKitties now works very well. The problem with CryptoKitties was that there's an unlimited supply of them and because you can keep breeding them, it kept devaluing the CryptoKitties themselves. So unless I was able to get a very rare CryptoKitty, I was almost sure to be losing money on my CryptoKitty investments. Etherbots has now recently overtaken CryptoKitty in transaction volume, leading to the belief that many think Etherbots will start to become the frontrunner in the dApp game. Etherbots hasn't even launched yet, but is already taking the crown for most volume in Ether transactions. This means that people are very interested in Etherbots' idea, which is building an Etherbot, customizing it, and then battling for Ether. So you can build up a little robot, make it your own, and then actually win real crypto with it. This is awesome. Another dApp that we love that's been making a ton of growth recently is Ethercraft. One of Ethercraft's most interesting aspects is that you can buy an item, and every time the item gets bought after you, you'll earn a tag along of 0.0005 Ether. So if I am to buy this legendary loot crate for 0.468 Ether, and there's been over 400 sold, the price of this item would go up, and I would get a little bit of a ride along every time someone buys it. You can see how Ethercraft is using multi-level marketing here to get people who are already invested to keep spreading the word about this dApp and hopefully keep it growing. This is certainly the case with crypto celebrities. So here you can see if I wanted to buy Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's owned by Nine Hill and the current price is 20 Ether. Unlike CryptoKitties, Crypto Celebrities allows you to make sure that your investment never decreases in value. And that's because every time it's purchased, the next price goes up. So if I want to buy Arnold Schwarzenegger from Nine Hill, I'll have to spend 20.1619 Ether. However, after that, if someone wants to buy it from me, they'll have to spend 24.6661 Ether. So I'll be making about 3 point something Ether or 4 point something Ether just by buying, holding, and flipping this Arnold Schwarzenegger contract. Finally, the best dApp in our opinion, it's hard to even say if it's just a dApp or if it's bigger than that, but we've picked Mana Decentraland because it's a fully virtual world that you can build businesses and live in. It's awesome. If you haven't quite checked it out, we certainly recommend that you check out Mana Decentraland because not only are you building a virtual world in this dApp that's powered by Ethereum, but you can actually run very real virtual businesses within that virtual world. And they're adding functionality over the coming years where you could actually go and live in this world. So once the VR fully matures, you're not only going to be able to have this dApp and all these crypto assets, but then you can actually go and live out your crypto world where maybe you're a casino owner or a racetrack driver or something that you're very much so not in your real life. That's why Decentraland for us holds almost more potential than any of these dApps because of the length of which you can live and continually to grow through this environment. Not only does it seem like it's gonna be phenomenal gameplay, but it seems like there's a real infrastructure there to build and support a virtual economy. We hope you liked this video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a like or comment below and don't forget to share it. Thanks so much for watching. This has been the five best dApps on the market today. I'm Elio Trades and this has been FUD TV. Please remember we are not financial advisors. We are simply enthusiasts and investors in the space. Please always do your own research when investing and never invest what you cannot afford to lose. Until then, thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.